Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. So last time we took a look at creating parts in Autodesk Inventor and what we'd like to do today is take a look at creating a drawing file with those parts. So one of the nice things about Autodesk Inventor is that once you have a part completed you can create the drawing for manufacturing very easily and Inventor does a lot of the work for you. So if we come up to our application menu and we highlight the new we can go down to the drawing file and select that and notice how it opens up a nice sheet for us already so to start off we come to the base tool and this will open up a dialog box it's already got my carrier part from the last video all ready to go and because of the plane that we started that part on we want to go and choose the left for the orientation and we'll keep the visual style as it is for the time being so just to give you an idea before you hit OK you'll already see your your base part if I come back in and click back you'll see what the base view is so I'm gonna go back to the left and I'm just gonna hit OK once I've got that placed and I'm gonna place a couple projected views the projected views start automatically once you've placed your your base view and so you can just come around on any angle and it projects that view for you so these are all pretty straightforward so I'm just gonna do an isometric and this elevation on the side and then I'll right click and I'll hit create and notice how I have these two new views so one of the great things that you can do in Inventor as well is come into the, the view and highlight it so you'll see that when you hover over it you see a red dotted line bordering the part and you right click and say retrieve dimensions so if I select my view and then I hit the select dimensions notice how it brings up a number of dimensions that are inherent from my part model so I'll just create a window and select all of these hit OK and now I've got some dimensions that I can edit afterwards so I can grab these grips and make them so that you can see them you can see that you can bring them out so it's more easily read we'll do the same thing with these diameter dimensions as well there you go so I might want to make another view maybe I want a section what I can do is using my my first base view if I click on the section it's gonna ask me where I want to create my section lines. so I can do that on a number of locations but I'm gonna choose my my first base view so it's asking me to create a section line I'm gonna use the center mark of that arc to create the section line and just draw a straight line now I've defined both points, I'll right click and say continue and it projects my new view. So if I zoom in, I'll just place that above and you'll notice that this is behaving as the same view. So I'll come and I'll retrieve the dimensions on this one as well. And I'll make a crossing window and select all those. And we can easily drag these dimensions out for a little bit easier read maybe I want to bring that 0.47 to the top and just pull this one out side as well so now that we've got uh, a section and some base views maybe you want to have this projected view a different shade material you could select your view and right click again and come to the edit view button and we'll just hit this shaded option and then when we hit OK you'll see that we've got a different visual style so there's some other things that you can do from the drawing ribbon you can come to annotate and you can select specific dimensions from any of these views maybe we want the interior diameter plus our fillet 
So what you do is you select that part of the component that you would like by highlighting it and simply left click to say create and it brings that baseline dimension off of the part for you. You can also do things like change the dimension style. If we wanted to change this to an ANSI, we can come here to the default millimeter ANSI style and you'll notice that it aligns it with the dimension line and it changes the units. So I could select this one and do the same thing and you'll notice that it turns into a 12 millimeter. So right now these are all in inches. We can change these and maybe we want to leave our degrees here the way they are. So we'll leave that one alone. But there you have it. Essentially you have a manufacturing drawing for a carrier part. Now one of the great things about the drawing files as well is that if you make changes after the fact, like for instance we could make a change to the fillet. So if I, just to show you again, if I select this fillet feature by highlighting it, I get the option to edit it, I'll click on that, and now I can change all of these by selecting just the one and change that to a two millimeter fillet instead. And when I come back to my drawing file, you'll notice that that fillet has updated automatically. So that's a brief introduction to creating drawings with Autodesk Inventor. Thanks for watching.